Black Panther Party for Self Defense. I came up with this piece. It's when they had a, a monument put down on River Street by some older black folks. You know, we, we, we recognized it and honored it and everything like that. But the way they got it set up, it's not the way they brought the slaves into Savannah. You know, they got a suit and tie on the, the father and the son and the dress on the daughter and the mother. That's when I came up with this one show how it really was done. What was the process of, you know, thinking about what you, how you wanted to depict this and, and the process of building it? What was that like? Well, most of I was looking at my family. I had to get each person and kind of like design it from them. For the, from the kids on up, for size and features and everything. You know? The bigger guy, you know who that is. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah. So what I kind of like did is like I kind of like paper mache they, they face like, you know, where I can pull it off of it and got most of the features from that on each person. And then you installed it. And I, and I, where did? I built from, built from that. Where where was it? Um, where did you first install it, or has it always stayed here on this site? No, it was up here on this platform when I first started it out. Yeah. What kind of response did you get from the community? When it was out there. Yeah. Well, I had it tore up by some chairs Yeah. Some people destroyed. Huh? Some people defaced it. Yeah, it was in the newspaper. You know? yeah. And then you rebuilt it? Yeah, I rebuilt it and moved it over here. Mm -hmm. Did it bring a lot of the, the black community together around it to want to know more about the history? Well, the younger blacks, most of them that's in school, stuff like that, they want to know why it's up here. What it's up there for is to honor the, the slaves that did die to get us where we're at now. And also to remind the younger black kids that when they get the handcuffs put on, that's what they get themselves back into. Mm. And if that's what they want to do, then that's what, you, that's what you come up with, man. Especially when you're not listening to your elders and nobody else, man, when people try to tell you something. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's bad out there. That most so come from not being able to discipline the kids, man. Child abuse law. People scared of their kids. <laughs> and that's why they're out there doing whatever they feel like doing, man. White, black, blue, or green. It's all. See, grandmama had to shoot your son? Yeah, recently. Mm. I think it was in pool or somewhere, man. Wow. Yeah, nobody want to shoot your own grandson, man. But hell, you gonna let him hurt you? So you feel concerned and worried about the young, the youth of the community here? Yeah, yeah. But you can't be afraid of them, man. You got to stand up, challenge. Eh? Don't you provide a way for them to come out and interact with art and to discover something positive through? I heard you talk about bringing those little carts out here on this concrete yeah, pad. Yeah, I, I usually bring them out here. I just need, I had to run them out because I'm going to repair them, but I'll get them back out there for the summer. <laughs> so but you I, feel like I'm the art have, is a way to... It's, it's, all, it's, it's most of the smaller kids that you can kind of communicate with, more so than the, the, the older, older kids. Now some of the smaller kids are going to come up here this summer and I'll just have them doing little paper mache things that they want to make like that. But I also interact with the, with the older older ones. You know, if I see them doing something they ain't got no business doing, I'm saying something, man. Whether they like it or not. You see what I mean? Yeah. Somebody got to tell them. You see? Yeah. Did you ever imagine creating an art program? No. Associated with the schools or something where they could come out and learn how to? No. Not, not so. 
then by being in Black Panther Party, it's still only so many organizations that's going to deal with you. Anyway. Oh, so there's, there's. And that's also one reason why you probably haven't seen so much about it through my people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What what activities are the Black Panthers doing for the community these days? Well, in Savannah. Well, I provide sodas for the kids coming out of school, water. And if, if money needs being out the field, that and I know that you need it, and I got it, you can get it. And like I said, also, silly things that's going on, man. See something that ain't supposed and that ain't right, I'm gonna say something to you about it. You know? It doesn't matter to me what color you are. If it's wrong, it's wrong. That's the way I am around here. You see what I mean? Yeah, man. When they ask when about the, the Panthers. Guy over here, just because you black, you think I'm gonna let you go in that man's house? You can't do it, man. Not around here, you ain't gonna do it. When they ask you about the Panthers, what what do you tell them about the Black Panther history and where where they're at now? Well, I ain't, I ain't, I don't really go back too far on the on the history that that happened back then. It's right now what's happening right now is what we be, what we working on. And the main thing is it's focusing on the young black youth. Somebody got to step up and be a father. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I said. If I see them doing something they ain't got no business, man, I don't care how old you is, but I know you're younger than me. Or even if you ain't younger than me, if, it's, if it ain't supposed to be done, you ain't gonna be doing it. You see? And that's the way I am on that, on that style. But as far as these kids, if somebody got to say something to them when they ain't doing something, when they doing something they ain't supposed to be doing, man. Most of them will listen to you, especially if you holler, man, had a holler at them like they're a kid, which they are, and they're gonna break down. <laughs> it shows that you care. Huh? It shows that you well, care. Well, get tired of it, man, because you could walk by some of them and they don't even speak to you, man. Mm. Or they don't care what they're listening to when they come by you. Old lady sitting on the porch, you got some old crazy music on, man, and you, and you ain't got the courtesy enough to just turn it down enough so you can speak to the old lady and pass by. You going on by with it, man, and singing it to and all. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, disrespecting all the way, man. You know? If I'm in my Black Panther uniform and I go somewhere, Kroger's or any place like that, man, if it's a white person, couple or whatever, it's yes ma'am and no ma'am. Yes sir and no sir. You see what I'm saying? When they ask me a question or something. Man. That's called respect. You see? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's what we, we lack in a, on these young kids. Man. Young kids. If they think you're scared of them, yeah, they'll try to do something to me. You know? But I don't, I don't feel that way. The main thing is, a lot of parents is doing a lot of partying with the kids. Mm. That's when they lose more respect for you, man. You're not going to feel like you're one of them, man. You can't tell me nothing. And that's why we have a whole lot of problems with these kids today. Are there any community um, recreation things that are positive for them? Well, they got the, uh, the Lincoln Street gym over here. Pies is closed, and you got uh, WW Law right over here. The kids don't want to play no more, man. They don't want to play with toys, cars, and trucks. I only want to play basketball now. <laughs> They even took the boxing gloves out there, sporting goods. Think about that. Does it give you less of a sense of hope for the future hmm? to see that? Give me less of a sense of hope for the future? No. No. Because if I don't do what I'm doing, then it, yeah, it, it'll be less of a sense of hope because of me not even trying to do anything about it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It might be only one me that's hollering at somebody around here or getting on them or whatever. Silly joking when they're doing something they ain't got no business, but I know it done been told to them. You see what I'm saying? 
But I know the next time they see me, they won't be doing whatever they were doing. Oh, that's Mr. Dutch. You see what I'm saying? Hey, man. Mr. Dutch? Yeah, they call me Dutch. Why Dutch? Well, I used to have a van they called a double Dutch bus. Made out of an old mail truck with a camper off the back of a Ford pickup truck on top of it. And you can come from downstairs to the upstairs in the camper. I bolted it down there. Yeah, I used to drive it around. <laughs> you used to drive it around town or yeah, outside? Town. Called the double Dutch bus. And you've always been doing uh, body work? Well, I did that when I got out of uh, Savannah. Uh, when I got out of Marine Corps, did three years and then I went to take, take up training. Tell me real quick how your history with learning to become an artist. Uh, you said you were five years old yeah, and you we started were, getting we into Germany. Your, your father, father was, was in the military. We went, we traveled with him. It was six of us. We traveled over there with him. And my mom and all of us. And we went to a grade school over there and they taught us how to make Mr. Potato Heads and all that stuff. Puppet heads, put the sock on it, make it out of paper and stuff. That's how I picked it on up from doing that, man. Where did you take it from there? Did you keep doing it in grade school? Nope. When, when we left Germany, I, I went on in the service. But when I got out, I started back doing it. Because I had wanted a, when my first apartment, when I got out of the service, I wanted a house with everything in one, you know, nothing blocking off the kitchen, nothing blocking off the dining room, nothing like that. Because I wanted to get some rubber trees and put it in there and had it like a jungle. And made me a six foot giraffe, alligator, a snake, turtle, birds, and all that stuff out of paper mache. I used the wire framing for the giraffe and the, and the elephant, about so high, elephant, about this big. And uh, I had all